photo. All right, back out on the mud flats again tonight. Sorry, this um, light doesn't have a um, tilt thing on. I've got it all taped up because I broke it. Try to be careful with my new phone cover too. Broke that one, so I had to put a new one on. Anyways, back on the um, the mud flat again. I'll spin you around, give you a look. So, lots of exposed sort of clay and it's just this big sort of cliff face here. It's all eroding out of. Um, lots and lots and lots of stuff around here, but very nice little mud flat, nice stony area which I like. And uh, there's just signals everywhere, it's all mixed up bits and pieces. But um, I'm only in about, I started just over there anyway. Uh, got the small coil on tonight, the EQ6, and first target worth notice. I'll just put the torch on here. No, wait, let me. Um, anyways, it's uh, just a little buckle from amongst the junk. So that's a little relic, anyways. Um, hopefully, we get into some coins. We had a big blow last night, massive, massive um, torrential downpours. Put the uh, river through Waikino and whatnot up pretty high. Um, I'm sort of hoping it's washed a bit of sand out of here. It looks like it has, anyway. And I will get back to you and let you know uh, how we get on as we get on. I'll be back shortly. All right, next target. I'm not too sure what it is yet. Got a really, really good high tone. It's probably a little bit too good to be honest. Um, so these are the conditions I'm detecting in. There's just masses of iron, crap everywhere. Um, but the more I'm sort of my eyes are focusing a bit and I'm starting to see little gems lovely little Napped obsidian. That's a good one. That's a flint um, That's been used as a flint in a musket That's beautiful another little shard here And another little shard here. It's probably a few more about a bit of old glass there Um iron Ugh, big chunks of iron yeah, stuff's everywhere but good fun little spot good little challenge puts the uh, definitely puts the equinox to um, through its paces anyway but anyway it's got a big high tone here so have a bit of a live dig and that's it Nice big piece of lead. Nope, not the best target, but it's something. It's quite a cool area. There's a nice big chunk of an old black bottle there, the base. But, um, yeah, it's cool. There's definitely no shortage of targets in here anyway. I might actually just um, cherry pick for a little while, uh, just because the tide is still going out for another hour or so. Um, like cherry pick along the top here some high tones and then start working it hard on the way back in uh, I'm gonna be in this part of the world for another few days anyway so plenty of time um, yeah hopefully there's some goodness in here okay first coin of the night tiny little NZ 3d uh, I think that's just a copper nickel one yeah, it looks like I'll give it a pants rub. These coins are so small, they're hard to find in, in here. So I was ringing up five, uh, which is not the most ideal target, but copper nickel, and our date is 1958. That's cool. Old coin's an old coin. Pretty worse for wear. But I won't. Alright, we'll see you on the next target. Alright, next coin. Nice and crusty, a bit of green coming through though. Half penny size. Uh, very, very crusty actually. I'll give it a pants rub.
Ooh, there's a crusty New Zealand half penny. Cool. Lots and lots of obsidian around here, little tiny pieces. So I'm hoping we get into some older stuff here. Um, some silver would be good tonight. But um, I'll get back to you if we find some. Okay, next target. It's a tiny little coin. I think it's a three pence. It looks a bit older. I'll give it a gentle rub. So I'm not really sure what it is yet. Silver. That looks like possibly a, a Vicky. And it's three pence size. Very, very worn though. Definitely a little English silver. Let's try to get a bit of a zoom on there. Hang on a second. No, I can't quite make it out. It's a very, very faint young young head Vicky on that side. I believe. That's cool. Bit of English silver. Chair. Yeah. Next target. I think it's about 22, 23. Looks about penny size. Yeah. Uh, yep, that's a penny. Let's just give it a bit, bit of a pants rub. Yep. New Zealand penny. Quite crusty, that one. Sweet. Next coin. It's a big coin. I don't know what that is already. Pants rub. That is a cup pro nickel. Half ground again. 1948. Uh, two and two days of those. Lovely condition still too. I'll keep that one for the um, ring making down the track anyway. Uh, two years off. It's a shame. Now yeah, well, on to the next target. Uh, well, must have given myself some good luck. I was just saying on the last target there was um, you know, surprisingly few silvers in here. And then, very next target, that little one pops up. Oh, Murphy's Laurie. That looks like a three pence. Nice high tone. Yep, English three pence. He's a sand, doesn't come off easily. Who have we got here? A little bit hard to see on the back. There's the bust. And the date is too small to see. Hang on. It's 1906 or something. I'm not too sure. It's a bit worn. That's cool. I'll take it. Chat. All right. Uh, next target. Another coin. Uh, I'm not showing all my rubbish, guys. I um. Uh, basically, I just don't have time to edit it. Then you know, each piece of rubbish. Uh, this one is looking like another New Zealand coin. Possibly. A little bit crustier, so it might be a bit older, not too sure. A um, little bit too crusty at the moment. Ah, uh, we'll call it, uh, go and buy the colour, I'll say New Zealand coin. Sweet! Oh jeez, it's a uh, night of the three pences, I think. One of these days, one of these little coins will be a growth. Uh, what have we got? Uh, 
Oops, Edward. Oh, jeez. Oh, I'm not liking the sand, it just sticks to everything. Right, pants are up, there we go. 1902 British 3D. Sweet, and that's the uh, fourth silver 3D tonight. No other silvers. Um, that's cool. Not complaining. Next coin, another penny. Uh, I think that's a penny. Yeah, it's a penny. Another very crusty one. Give it the pants rub, see what we got. I think all of the pennies tonight have been uh, New Zealand ones. Uh, this one's a bit too far gone, I think. Elizabeth, yep, New Zealand penny. Another target, another coin. Can knock a penny again. Uh, let's see, yeah, got some copper coming off that. Very crusty. A bit too crusty, I think. Don't think I'm going to get too much off that at the moment. Yeah, I'll have to clean that one up at home to find out what that is. It's uh, pretty naft. But another coin, so. Um, kind of regretting actually my decision to put the small coil on because there's just so many coins in here I'm just struggling to cover ground uh, but it is paying off I'm finding a lot of these coins around nails and and iron stuff anyway so all good I'm not uh, not complaining I've got a whole lot of coins so far um, tired is coming in pretty quickly now it's just down there um, so I am sort of really am sort of cherry picking now um, sort of scarping to get out of the out of the way I've got about a kilometer back to the car um, yeah I'm not sure what that one is it's pretty bad condition anyway but we'll find out later all right guys I'm, uh, I think I might wrap it up there I've actually um, got a bit carried away and I think the tide might have gotten the better of me a bit so I've got to be pretty quick to get out of here otherwise I'm going to be stuck in here which I don't really want to do because the place is riddled with bronze whalers so uh, they come right in the shallows too I think I've just got to get around the corner here and it'll be all good um, yeah, that was a good hunt. No shortage of targets in this area. Um, I'll do a bit of a roundup for you uh, once I get out of the water. It's almost over my gumboots. <laughs> uh, see, there's lots of good targets everywhere too. Uh, I think I should be pretty safe here. So uh, yeah, quite a few coins. Um, lots actually. Not as many silvers as I was hoping for. Um, someone's done a good job of plucking the bigger ones I think um, but in saying that I was missing a lot of ground too with the small coil so I'm going to come back probably tomorrow um, with the standard coil and give it another going over and I only went about halfway down as far as I could too so definitely got to be a, a load more targets to come out of here um, but yeah that was a good hunt and I'll see you on the roundup Alright guys, so I'm just, um, I've just stopped in at the, the local boat club which is on the way. Um, give the knocks and whatnot a bit of a wash down, so I'll, might as well just do the round up here while we've got some good light and some water. Wash some of the sand off the stuff we found. Let's see what we've got. So it was a pretty busy night, lots of targets to be found, and lots we found. all our junk and here's our not so junky finds right. so 
Not as many silvers as I'd like. And no big silvers. But we got a few nice little ones anyway. So not too bad. Just wind that back up. Okay, we'll start with the trash. All the typical sort of stuff you'd expect to find in a mud flat, yeah. Always a couple of batteries, random doohickeys. Um, this place is riddled with little square nails, boat brass, lead, padlocks, parts of old clocks, always the molten aluminium. I believe that's the possibly part of a fishing rod. Um, yeah, just various bits and pieces. Um, lots of these spoon sinkers actually. Got a bunch of those the other night. So all the typical stuff. Okay, better finds for the night. Some nice pieces of obsidian. That's a nice one. Nice round working on that. I can't get it to focus. I'll zoom in slightly. Oh, it's not gonna focus on me. Too much glare. There we go. Alright, so we got a little silver New Zealand 3D. One, two, three British 3Ds. One of them, I'm pretty sure, is a Victorian one. Possibly older. It's a bit hard to make out. Um, let's dry it a bit. It's got a very, very faint uh, bust on it. Uh, geez, I'm in 8K, so it's not focusing very well. Anyways, 1800 silver, copper nickel florin, New Zealand pennies, 20 cents, one. Two dollars in spendies, ten cents, ten cents, two cents, two cents, uh, ten cents, one shilling, obsidian. So we've got one, two, three, four. Ah, oh, actually, possibly five silver three Ds. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. About 25, 26 coins. Um, just going along with the small coil. Um, so it wasn't covering ground as well as I could, but it worked really, really well in the, the iron infested area. I pulled a number of coins and um, you know, a couple of little buckles and stuff like that out. I'm not sure what that is. It's got a name and a patent number on it though. Um, but yeah, that's it for tonight. So bunch of junk out of the ground, a few keepers, a few not so keepers and yeah that's it. So I'll, um, I'll wrap this video up here and we'll see you on the next one.